Greetings, YouTube. First things, a shout out from one of my subscribers, Alakov. As I've mentioned in the past, Alakov has been doing a podcast that's gaming related. And he's so far he's covered a number of topics um, about role playing games. He'd like to expand that to cover board games. Um, the board game market is huge at this time. Um, and to further those efforts, he is looking for people who would be willing to either donate or loan him board games so that he can review them. Um, if I remember correctly, I will put a link to his channel um, in the notes for this, and if I don't, uh, he's the only subscriber I've got named Alakov. That being said, on to talking about a gaming product. As I've mentioned in the past, my favorite gaming system is the D20 system, specifically the uh, 3.5 system that has the uh, system resource document and the open gaming license available to the entire world. It strikes the correct level of simplicity versus complexity for me. There are times when you want a really simple system and there are times when you want a really complex system, but for the most part I feel that there should be a system that has a certain balance to it. And for me, the D20 system reaches that balance. It has enough complexity that if I need a rule, I can just flip to that page and I have a very good chance that the game has the rule, or at least one close enough to the rule I need to refer to, that I don't have to recreate the wheel. That I can just, on the fly, look at the rule, make a snap decision, keep moving. Or better yet, look up the rule and not make a decision so I can spend my time working on more important things like the story and the game. But, it's not a perfect system, it has flaws, it isn't necessarily the most flexible system, it is not, in fact, a generic system. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. Generic systems. Particularly, the basic role-playing system, or the BRP, from Chaosium. Firstly, I'd like to make an example of something. This is Savage Worlds. It is a generic system. This is the basic role-playing game. This is also a generic role-playing system. You will note the difference between these two games. Savage World is a small, digest-sized book, no thicker than my pinky, while basic role-playing game is a huge, standard-sized book, well thicker than the first joint in my thumb. Now, both attempt to achieve the same goal of creating a generic system that can be applied to any genre and has a unified mechanic that will allow you to have games spanning these genres and switchable from genre to genre and still meet your needs. And this is a great example of what I was mentioning about complexity. Savage World is as simple a game as I realistically was ever going to play. There are simpler games out there. For example, there's Fudge, which is a wonderful system, um, and I've used things like Fudge in the past on, for, to pick up a game very quickly and just make one up as I go. And then there are games that are really complex, like Hero 5th Edition, which I think I've showed off before, which is the size of a chemistry college textbook, and about as much fun to read. It is the ultimate synthesis of generic, bland game mechanics. On a scale, I would make Savage World a the low limit of usable complexity, of simplicity. Hero, the upper limit of usable complexity. D and D would fall between those two, and between D and D and Hero is BRP. BRP does in fact do what it says. It's a generic system. It's percentile based, which is very nice. I like a percentile based system. I've used them in the past myself. Um, I've liked that. Uh, third edition Gamma World versus percentile based. I really enjoyed it. Um, but that being said, there's a lot of complexity here that I don't think is 100% necessary. They go into a lot of depth. For example, the combat system in this game is extremely complex. It has an attack-defense matrix. So you have different attack conditions, different defense additions, and cross-referencing each possible combination of these things. When your game has something called an attack and defense matrix, it might just be pushing the complexity limit. 
and that's what it did for me. I like this system. I think it could be used in a lot of ways. But this system is keyed for people who like lots of fiddly bits. If you don't like this many fiddly bits, then this particular generic game may not be for you. You may want to play a game that isn't as generic like 3.5 D&D, the D20 system, that has less complexity. Or if you, are, if you want to avoid that completely and you want to go for an, a generic game, you might want to go at Savage Worlds, where you may be required to come up with rules on the fly, but it isn't this very impressive and quite frankly daunting tome that is BRP. So I like the game. I read it. Um, I think it's got some nice features into it. it While well, the, the combat system is complex, I think it works functionally well. It uh, begins. To, it really reflects and gives you an, uh, uh, the ability to play a dynamic combat system where you're attacking, where you're parrying, where you're dodging in a, in a much more realistic way than, say, D20 does it, which is a more simpler and abstract combat system. But, for example, I'm going to give you something that kind of bothered me. I couldn't find the ability to have a survival skill in this game. Now, I'm sure people who have experienced BRPs uh, in the past will tell me, if it, and, oh, you have to go to this page and this is how you do survival. But there just wasn't a flat survival skill. And survival is an important enough skill in a role-playing game, particularly as, as many role-playing games do take place in the outdoors of one variety or another, um, that I think there should just be a survival skill or an outdoors skill or something like that. And because I just couldn't flip to that and find it. That bothered me. And I, and I was looking at these rules and quite frankly I did not want to have to go to the effort of hunting into those rules to find where I would be able to you know, um, find the mechanic that would let me have a character decide can they survive in the wilderness in a wilderness situation. So that bothered me. It, it, I think it took it took uh, the complexity to a level that I was not comfortable with, that I d thought was excessive. And remember, I like the D20 system, and I'm thinking that this is too excessive. So, I can see why there are people who like BRP, but I think it's going to fall into the same category as people who like to dissect code for their computer and find the optimum version of Linux to run on their system. There are many people who do not want to do that. They just want to push a button, they want the machine to come on, they want to go. To me, that is the D20 system. And there are people who want even less complexity. They just want things to work, they don't care how it functions. They, they want just a fast system that goes, 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 and lets them do what they want to do with it. And to me, that would be the Savage World system. So, I think that this is good for some people. I don't think I'm that person anymore. I don't think I am the person that wants to fiddle with these rules the way they need to be fiddled with to have them really be effective at the table. But it is a solid system. Um, I recommend it for people who enjoy a certain level of complexity. And overall, I think that BRP is a winner. It's just a good thing. It's not hero.